Hey everyone! I decided to downsize my Dior face and body powder. No powder. Um, as you know, I am against intentionally breaking pressed pigments in order to make them smaller. It's not my thing. However, I'm having difficulty with this one. I really, really like this. I do enjoy using them and some actu someone actually suggested to use it for eyes. It's great for eyes too. However, my issue is I've been, I'm either very unlucky or it's just not working out because the, it's not sitting on metal pens. So, and it's just glued there. So it actually falls off of the mesh thing. And I'm just worried it'll break. Now I do love these types of powder. Um, I do mostly mature. So I never really have need for actual powder. I use very, very minimal powder in the first place. So I'd rather make it smaller. And because of this situation, and it's I've had this for a while, so I can't return it anymore. So I decided I'm just going to make it smaller. I'm going to do a three-way kit split. I'm going to use kit pack, this one, and two of these smaller ones. I haven't decided where to put them after, but I'm excited because... Yeah, I'd rather really have the small ones. Having said that, I love everything from the backstage collection from Dior. I feel like they really have the professionals in mind. Um, it's compact. There's no mirror, no magnets. It's clear. You can see the color. So you can lay it down in your station. And you're not worried about germs getting into your stuff. And it's super thin. I like the uniformity in size in this and the eye palettes and those face palettes, I really, really like it. However, it's just not really working out for me, and I'd rather reinforce it by putting them in pants than worry about it. Now, the reason I prefer, can I take it out and just use it that way? Yes, however, if it's in pants, it makes it easy to reposition because the way to reposition, if you use this without pants, right, you're going to have to use a metal sticker there. And the way to lift it, if you lift it like that, you could break it. So the way to lift something that's not in metal pants is to go down like that and then lift it from underneath the metal sticker. Now, if you keep repositioning it because there's no walls protecting the sides, you could actually dent this. And since it's very thin and you're going to see eventually how thin it is, it's just more problematic for me. So I'd rather depot it, reinforce it, and not have to worry about it. So the way to remove it is get a thin tool and just insert it. Don't worry if you ding or crack the sides because this is still bigger than three of your pants. So you have that allowance. Don't worry if you crack. The corners break it you can use a, a weeding tool or a thin spatula such, such as this one so i'm just gonna use that spatula this one's already loose and i haven't even played with it so it's this is not gonna take any effort at all see how it's just glued in there this is pretty maybe i can use it for something else anyway so now just separate it using a very thin spatula okay Guys, if you don't have a thin spatula, use dental floss and just slide it down. Don't use a thick spatula because you will see. You can break it apart. This is so thin. It's just a little thicker. It's just a little thicker than the plastic mesh. So it's just, I think it's a great idea. However, it's not working out for me and for my sanity so what i'm gonna do is just add a thin layer of glue on the pan store your glue upside down so you don't have that issue so i'm just squeezing while i'm going this way the rest of the time i'm not squeezing i'm almost just spreading it around because i just want reinforcement there i might as well do this as well spread it around don't overfill it with glue because you don't want it to like overflow right so now it has grid so it's really helpful make sure it's facing the way you want it to so i want the dior to be standing up so you have a guide there which makes it great make sure it's straight that way the the print 
it's not lopsided as well. So just press down as if it's a cookie cutter. And then do the others the same way. That's it. Maybe I'll do it this way. Wait, how do I want it to lie down? Oh, see like this one I screwed up. One is standing up and one is lying down. And it's not even the same like size all around. So be careful. Make it standing up or lying down. It's up to you. So I think I'll do. Doesn't matter now. It's too late. So just make sure it's straight, press, press down, make sure that it's going, it's touching your glue. And do it this way, why not? Ta -da! Now that you've done that, it's easy to break apart. Like there's really nothing to do. And then to get rid of the sides, you just wipe it against the pan and that gets rid of all the excess on the side also it cleans off the edge that way this is not dirty i do hate a dirty kit like even if just little specks of dust i can't stand it it's just a thing and i know like we all work differently i like i know a lot of people they don't mind it because it shows that they're busy or they're working or it's just natural for them but it's just me. I will obsess and hmm, it takes away from <laughs> the time I, ha I can devote. I have to devote to makeup because I will obsess about little things like that and I can't. So I'd rather like not be distracted by anything. So I just clean everything out and I try to keep my kit clean, like almost immaculate as if like my stuff, a lot of people think they're not used. Just because I really keep it clean. So yeah, it's super, super easy. And you still get the Dior print. Look, yay. So yeah, I'm just going to time lapse the rest. And I hope you guys have a nice weekend. Okay, bye everyone.